Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Gary Hall from Exodus and formerly from Slayer, and you're listening to The Razor's Edge. Chris from The Razor's Edge. I am here at Arc Tangent Festival. It's Wednesday, it's in full swing, and I'm joined by the awesome Cobra the Impaler. Thanks so much for joining, to, joining me today, guys. Do you want to just say your names into the voice box there? Hello, I'm Tace. I play guitar in Cobra the Impaler. And I'm James, and I also play guitar in Cobra the Impaler. Amazing. Thank you so much for joining me. I saw you had a, quite a few interviews in your schedule today, so <laughs> really appreciate you taking the time today. So, um, your set was just a little while ago. Um, it was amazing. Have you come down from it yet? Um, yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. I'm still buzzing. Still, still yeah, yeah, uh, it was a really, we had a great time. Yeah, was, we really love playing fun, in the UK, yeah. and it's it's really an honour to be back because we were obviously we, we played last year as well, and uh, it's just mm. such a great festival. So. Really great, yeah. <laughs> yeah, amazing. So, last time I chatted with some of you guys, it was just before the release of your brand new album, Karma Collision. Now that the album is finally out, um, how's the reception been for you guys? How have people received your album? Yeah, actually quite good. The response have been great so far. So, yeah, people seem, people seem to like it, and it's always nice when you bring out a new album. Ah, uh, will people enjoy it as much as the first one? But it's, yeah, it's happy and relief like to say they do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's actually been really cool to see the response for sure. It's it's always you always go into it being a bit uh, yeah sort of worried about how people will take it, but it's yeah it's just amazing actually to see the response. <laughs> yeah, incredible. Um, are there any tracks that you've seen from the new album that have been really well received by your listeners? Like any one track standing out, or maybe two? Let me pull up Spotify. Oh, go for <laughs> it, go for it. <laughs> Fill the time. No, uh, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, we've released a few singles. The message has been doing really, really well, and people really seem to enjoy that one uh, for sure. Um, yeah, best way to tell is by playing live. Yeah, so we, those, we, we just kicked off like this this run with this album. So I mean, this run with this album, but it's yeah, maybe too soon to say. But the ones that we're playing for now are doing well or are well received. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, fantastic. Um, how how much of the new album made it into the set list just today? Well. We, yeah, it was quite a short set. Normally, um, there'd be sort of more or less half and half, I think. Yeah. In this case, we try to put in as much of the new stuff as we can. Um, I think we did, was it three off the new album? I think we time? did three new songs and two old ones. Two old, but yeah, we have quite long songs and we had like 30 minute sets, so it was mm. difficult. We were like struggling a bit. So yeah, we were really hard like, to decide uh, which one oh, we had shit. to drop. <laughs> it's, always, yeah. it's always such a bummer as well because you were like, oh, it really is, is, but yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, but I did think it was a crim a fucking wasp in my face. Fucking <laughs> yeah. hell. Man, they're so my life. aggressive. They, yeah, it's insane. He's you right he's right at my face. Right at my face. Fuck wasp. off. Yeah, we had the same thing <laughs> this morning as well. Just, I'll just... piss off you <laughs> fucking right, anyway. Um, I did feel it was a it was a criminally short set. He's still there. <laughs> <laughs> like, really Jesus is. Christ. Oh, wow. Wow. Comedy gold, right? It's, I, I did feel it was a it was a criminally short set for you guys, especially the kind of music that you do. Would you would you want to like come back to the UK do like a proper show to like yeah. really show kids? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, so far we've only done festivals, and you know, we obviously love doing that. But yeah, we definitely want to come back and be able to play like a, a longer set, and, and maybe even like in the club setting, for example. That, that something we really want. On to the do. other hand, it, it kind of sucks that when you're limited to 30 minutes. But on the other hand, it's like nice to do like yeah, you deliver quite a, a quick strong punch, you know? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, amazing. So, um, you guys are about to embark on quite the tour. Well, I mean, you started it a few days ago at uh, Alcatraz mm. Festival. Yeah. Um, how, how did that? How did that show go for you guys? It was great. Yeah, it's it's a fantastic festival. It's also our second time there as well. Uh, played a slightly bigger stage this time, and the response was amazing. Had quite a full tent. Yeah, it's an amazing festival. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's really good, and I think, um, yeah, we've got quite a few things coming up as well, especially in September. Yeah, uh, we're going to be doing a club tour, um, mostly within Belgium and the Netherlands, mm. um, and then some other stuff that hasn't been announced yet, but uh, hopefully soon. But then, and, yeah, and in, in, in uh, spring we're going to do a tour, a bit more like also Germany and, and many mm -hmm. other countries, Denmark, and there's also 
some UK stuff in the pipeline, so we're really looking forward to, yeah, to, that's to really come back here. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember seeing it, like the, a lot of UK dates announced as yet. Are not they yet. about no, to be yeah, oh, yeah, We can't, yeah, we can't yeah, really yeah, talk about yeah, it. Oh, I've no, got a scoop so going here. Uh, <laughs> come on, come on. What, what can you tell me? What's coming up in the no, pipeline? It's, not, <laughs> no, it's <laughs> not not really confirmed and not yet announced, yeah. so we have to be a bit patient yeah, here. Yeah, have, have to be careful what we say. <laughs> okay, yeah, fair <laughs> Otherwise enough. Otherwise, we kicked off. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. And our manager is he's around, so I can't imagine him shouting, what the? No, she's right behind you now. Oh, it's that wasp. <laughs> it's, the, it's that wasp. He's got a little tracking device on him. Yeah, for sure. Great, but, great band. This is, this is great content. Really. <laughs> I love wasps. Yeah. All great the band. wasps. All the wasps. But anyway, so um, currently confirmed, you've got uh, a bunch of dates starting at the end of this month, stretching across September. Uh, are you excited to like get this new album out there for like people to like really experience in the live? Absolutely, it's life. Is that's how you how you gain gain people, gain fans. You know, that's mm. that's the way to do it. Yeah, I feel like we are all playing music to be able to play live and be able to, to you know, it's an expression of of yourself and, and, and yeah, really, yeah, that's why we're doing it. Yeah, really. and we love to do it as well, so. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> yeah. What, what's Alcatraz Fest like? I've never been. It's well, amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's, you could compare it to Bloodstock, I think. Oh, amazing. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's a bit, I think it's, it is or a bit Or a small version of small Hellfest. Ver- Fest. Yeah. Small version of Hellfest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell, Hellfest is big. Yeah, well, that's why. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's scary. No, it's, it is, yeah. but it, it has kind of. There's a bunch of stages, and there's also some some nice like the decor is also really nice. That's why I'm I'm, I'm it it reminds me to Hellfest a bit. It's not as yeah. like yeah. Hellfest it's quite a varied lineup as well, which is why because uh, like obviously um, when we played, I think Architects headlined. Oh, amazing! Which is uh, great, but you also have you know I mean it's such a you know, mayhem. Also playing Montaigne, as well, yeah, and what black metal bands? All these black metal bands. There's a bigger best festival in Belgium, Grass Pop, which is also oh, amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's like a big festival. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's the, big, the biggest small, metal festival yeah, yeah. in Belgium. For it sure. is smaller, but it is like it's really metal oriented. It's yeah, like absolutely. Heavy bands playing, heavy bands headlining. So it's a lot of death metal, a lot of black metal. Oh, amazing! Yeah, yeah. I've never, I've never actually been to a, a metal festival uh, off of the UK. Basically, oh, um, yeah. do um do audiences differ com- like in the UK I'd, compared I'd to the so. Europe? I don't know. I feel like <laughs> to me well, it feels the same because if you see, it's always the same. Like, like I don't know. I, I feel like it, it varies because like when we played Alcatraz for the first time in I think it was 2022, we had a, we played quite late and it was a smaller stage and it was a very rowdy crowd. It was we had like a massive ball of death and all this crazy stuff and the, the crowd this time was a lot more subdued. Uh, but that doesn't mean that they weren't enthusiastic. It was just a very different kind of vibe. And yeah, I feel it was like Sunday, the closing, yeah, it, closing of the festival, exactly. scorching hot. Yeah, oh, wow. really, really well, hot. we had like wow. a, we had like a massive crowd. Like the yeah. tent was packed, and, and we even yeah, had some very people diving. Well. Some people it was a bit similar to, to today as well. We, we but that's that's what I kind of like about metal festivals all over the world. It's mm. it's the same crowds, <laughs> so me- same patches, same jackets. <laughs> yeah. same, so metal's same. Ju- metal's just metal yeah, wherever you go, basically. The of metal, anyway. Yeah, so it's a, commu- it's a community, it's a community, and I love it. Yeah, I think that's yeah. a big reason why we all kind of gravitate to this stuff because it is yeah. very yeah. communal and very kind yeah, of um, exactly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But w- when you've got a really long run set of shows coming up, be it confirmed, unconfirmed, um, do you have to mentally prepare yourself for that kind of? work to just do show after show travel after travel does it helps because towards the end of the tour you're like really yeah you're at your a game basically. exactly yeah at <laughs> yeah. the beginning of the tour is a bit like uh same yeah. for this we, we we only did a bunch of show with this album so yeah. we're still growing into playing them live and trying out stuffs because it's always a surprise with oh this works really well and we thought that song would do better life so it's nice yeah, to we, find out so we're still kind of and experimenting it's fun, it's, i love the process yeah it's amazing it's really fun to do and we're just looking forward to being able to play a lot more because i think that's just the, the best way to have a sort of like well oiled machine <laughs> yeah um does does it ever surprise you like when you when you do when you've got a new album and you showcase a bunch of bunch of stuff does it surprise you like I didn't expect that song to go down so well, or I thought that song would go down better than that one. Does that ever happen? Uh, yes and no, because we always, especially with this album, there are some songs that we kept live performance in mind. It's like mm. it, there's there are some crowd pleasers on the yeah. album. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, we <laughs> we're not shying away from our crowd pleasers, and it always kind of. 
it kind of works. Our, uh, our sound engineer, um, he has this bit in the song that he just loves, like, so much. It's at the end of end of the set, it's a song called Assassins of the Vision. Oh, yeah. And there's a, a snare bomb at the, at the end of it, it just goes, <laughs> bah, and it's this massive sort of reverb, intense thing. It was right before a massive breakdown. There was one show, one of the first we did with this album, and he was like, because we play on in-ears, and he can communicate yeah. with us, and he was like, <laughs> he was like shouting in our like, ears, oh, this yeah, that was great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. Oh, it would have, wouldn't be better if he would do it to <laughs> yeah, front, yeah, and like everybody crowd, to hear yeah. his comments. Oh, oh, so, yeah. this is, so, when you, so when you write songs, do you sometimes think, this is a live song, or this is an album song, or do you try and treat it More like or less, kind of the yeah, same? Yeah, we've yeah. been around for a while, so you kind of get the hang of it, and you kind of understand what what works live and what. Yeah, definitely. I wouldn't say it doesn't work, but it's like some songs are more progressive and more complex and kind of demanding for you, you know, not easy listening. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I love it. I love that stuff. It's nice to, to have like to mix and match stuff uh, live. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um given though how many shows you you do have booked and how many you've been doing, has that has that made it difficult to um, sit down and write new material? Have you had much time to write stuff since the album came out? There were all, always yeah, a, a, a shitload of riffs. That we that we had around, but then after the last festival summer last year in September, we really were like, all right, we, we're gonna give ourselves a deadline. It is tricky, it, it's it's risky, but let's do it. And because we all also wanted to, we like that stuff happens in the moments that you have to make a decision in the studio and avoid overthinking stuff. Basically, do it the old way because back in the days there were no. People, yeah, bands were recording on in the 80s but were mm. recording on tape and had to decide in the music they made albums in like one or two three months like top so now yeah. it's it was a great experiment and I enjoyed it it's still it was still six months to like you know like make demos do do pre-productions do all the recording so we almost died <laughs> at some no, point. No, no, <laughs> I don't point, want to hear it. <laughs> oh yeah, at some point it was. But yeah, but but still, I really believe that's 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 a good thing to do. You know. Yeah, we really pushed kinda, ourselves on this yeah, record for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. And it was it was at yeah, times very knee deep, and it's like it was like full time, like for six months full time, like. Fully yeah. focused on, on oh. doing this. Yeah, incredible. Yeah, it really shows in the result, I think. Yeah, for sure. I, I know it might be greedy to ask, and this new album has quite recently come out, but is there new music swimming in the background? We do have a few yeah. bits and pieces, um, but at this moment, I think we're really trying to focus on, on the new yeah. record and, and pushing that as hard as we can. Before there are we some songs that didn't make the album that are, you know. Definitely going to uh, be put out at some point. Yeah, I maybe, think. yeah. Well, we'll see. And yeah. There's always riffs, always, yeah. But, but now the, the focus is on, on promoting this album and. Um, yeah bring it to the people wherever so yeah yeah incredible so it's all about promoting the new album but there's always riffs i like that there's always always, always this, this riffs guy, this guy is a riff yeah, yes, yeah yeah <laughs> oh, love your guitar work man earlier it was oh, absolutely and cool. like yourself Thank as well you. <laughs> absolutely incredible guitar work um but oh, but also um going off of the music just for a sec i absolutely love the artwork for your releases it perfectly encapsulates the music that you do um who who creates the artwork for your music this guy yeah, yeah i do it yeah. no way yeah. Yeah. yeah oh awesome um so wh when in the creative process of the music do you start coming up with the artwork for it same time i think it's something that that, that it grows it kind like of goes parallel with, with the uh, music. but for me it's as important as the music it's like i, I like to call it like the cold and paler universe it's a visual identity that's like every album is going to be in the same style of, mm. of same graphical style and to be, have like an, a visual identity I, I, don't, I don't want people to recognize the artwork even without the logo over time but it takes time people have to grow mm. into it and best yeah I, I love Iron Maiden, their their artwork, yeah. I love it. Megadeth, Sepultura, yeah, they're all iconic. Metallica, and they, you, all you, those. You know that they're, they're exactly. albums from those. As bands. it gets like Killers, uh, Somewhere in Time, but, but it's in, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, and it's that's absolutely the the idea. It's 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 not the same style, but it's the same it's inspiration. Yeah, the same yeah incentive. Like let's do something that has a that 
you know, has a visual identity. Yeah, for sure. And, and for the rest of you guys, is it still as awesome the first time you see each new bit of artwork oh, remember, that comes I through? I remember when Tess uh, sends over the artwork for the first time. He never show, we, yeah. It, he, he never shows the, the, the preliminary stuff. He always oh, does the final product no, because he wants yeah. us to really see what he had in mind in his vision. Yeah, and yeah, I remember yeah. his show, and I, I literally... Well, I didn't literally shit myself, but it was. Uh, <laughs> it was. It was. That's my goal. I, Next was, album, <laughs> I, I'm going to do, make albums until you shit it was, yourself. It was. Uh, it was. No, it was honestly beyond what I expected. It, it was. Uh, I had high expectations. Cheers, it was, buddy. It That's was, so uh, kind of you. <laughs> <laughs> but it was. No, it was really, really cool to see it come together for sure. Was, uh, yeah. Okay, amazing. Uh, before I get to my fun quickfire ending questions, what, what what's left for the rest of 2024 for Cobra the Impaler? What have you got coming up? Shows. Yeah, just a lot of shows and you know like, like we said as well some stuff that we have in the pipeline that hopefully will um, will uh, be announced it's relatively soon mm -hmm. um, but it's all yeah we're all really excited um, to be yeah just to be playing and, and, and our goal is to really play as much as we possibly can really exactly yeah it's uh, the main goal for, for 2024 2025 as well just to keep it busy yeah amazing so everyone please go check out the socials to find it if a show might be coming anywhere near you so i like to i'm going to be ending these interviews this weekend the same way every single time with some random quick fire questions that have nothing to do with anything just some short quick fire questions you can think as long or as short as you want okay. you can el <laughs> elaborate if you wish and feel free to fight it out you do not have to come to a consensus right. so first question <laughs> first question classic british question tea or coffee 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 yeah, yeah. absolutely as, a, as, as an englishman i feel a bit you know i feel a bit lame for saying that <laughs> I, I need coffee no yeah. we all need coffee yeah. uh traditional metal or modern metal traditional um that's a, ooh, that's a tricky one I, let, let, I, let's say pre-2000 or post-2000 um i'm gonna go with pre-2000s pre-2000 yeah, okay, yeah so still okay. pre-2000 i mean i i grew up with more sort of modern metal, but I've over the years I've definitely come to appreciate yeah, all the old yeah. school stuff a lot more. To be Absolutely, that amazing, sounds... awesome. Uh, who inspires you? <clears throat> this guy over here. Lame. Suck up. Total suck. That's a good question. Um, yeah, that is a really. I say like, I say quick fire. This could go on longer than the main interview. <laughs> Yeah, it really makes me, me think, actually. Um, I am... Um, I'm going to go and say something really cheesy and lame. I'm going to say my wife. She's, she's, she's awesome, and she's she's um, recently been through a bit, a bit of a rough time, and she's handled oh, okay. it really well, so I'm... Uh, She's given me a bit of inspiration. I'm gonna to say her. Sasha Gray. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what wife? Sasha Gray. Brilliant. Uh, He's come back, Sasha. What a combination. Mosh pit or standing at the barrier? Mosh pits. Yeah, mosh pit for sure. Brilliant. I don't know even well why I hesitated with that. Yes. Remember seeing um, Biohazard last oh, year? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, brilliant. Fantastic. We were in the pit oh, the entire yeah, time. Yeah. Half the band was injured. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, going off of music though, uh, film or TV show? Film. 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 Favorite film? Uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey. Yes, Ooh, brilliant that is, that is film. Really good. Brilliant film. I cannot think of. What I would choose is oh, oh or maybe Clockwork Orange. I, I, I love that it, film my, so much. Yeah, both those films like Stanley Kubrick. Anything by Stanley yeah, Kubrick. Cool. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, Clockwork yeah. Orange yeah. is really really good indeed. Um, I'm just gonna go with that as well. Yeah, brilliant. brilliant. Uh, summer or winter? Summer. summer, yeah. Summer, yeah. Because of festival. Yeah. yeah. I mean, British summer. It's hardly a summer, really. <laughs> well, but, you know. Belgium as well. It's, <laughs> also, yeah, it's just been miserable. That's depressing. Oh my God! Talking of which, sun. hey, the lovely yeah. sun has oh, come out. Like, I see oh. some grey clouds though, so don't don't get yeah, used to it. Yeah, don't get your hopes <laughs> up. <laughs> uh, morning or evening? Uh, morning. Ooh, okay. um, I'm gonna say morning as well. Honestly, I'm, I'm I, I really love waking up early and being productive. Yeah. Yeah, same. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. I can't stand the morning. But I'll, I'll take you. I'll take your word on that. Uh, past or future? Ooh. Future. Neither. Present. Yes. Yes. Good answer. Oh, good answer. <laughs> <laughs> Secret hidden answer number three. Uh, favorite album. Oh shit! That is Rust and Peace Megadeth. Oh, amazing! Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, you got the Megadeth ties, God. so you know, gotta yeah, be done. Yeah. <laughs> That is that is um, oof. 
is really difficult. I'm, I'm going to go off on a complete tangent. It's not going to be metal. I'm going to say it's go anything. an album called Carrie and Lowell by Sufjan Stevens. And it's the only album I've I've really heard that has made me full on cry. Oh, wow. When I listen to it. It's, it's fucking amazing. Is <laughs> that bad? It's, yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's no, it's, um, yeah, there's too many metal albums that I can think of. That yeah, it's a good choice. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to pick an album. Oh, Maybe it's, it's, it's possible. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, that's why I do it. That's why I do it. Yeah, okay, uh, favorite festival? Hellfest. 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 I, I mean, do love. I do love our tangent. But Hellfest oh. does does take the case. Oh, no. I, I I've never been, but I've heard from so many people that Hellfest is an incredible it's, it's, festival. It's literally like we in Belgium. We have a festival called Tomorrowland, which is a sort of like dance festival. Really, it's same. It's, it's yeah, horrible. It's awful. It's terrible. <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> Instagram life. Yeah, Instagram. The it influencer is, festival it's basically but ba- it, but it's good looking it's really so. famous for its you know like decoration and, and it's like it's very elaborate and, and crazy and Hellfest is like the Tomorrowland of metal oh. it's insane like they have like a massive Lemmy statue and he's breathing fire it's badass oh, that's amazing mental. <laughs> it's, it's, it's badass um, yeah it's really cool oh so cool and final question favourite Cobra the Impaler song whoa oh, damn, Scorched nice. Earth of the first album Bam. Yeah. I'm going to say Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm gonna say Assassins of the Vision yeah, or don't. Shifting Sands. Oh brilliant. Okay. Well that's all I've got. Thank you so much for joining me today, Thank guys. It's been an welcome. absolute, Thanks. absolute been pleasure. Really really it's good, been sorry. it's my first interview at a festival ever. Really? And you oh, guys what an honor. you guys have been an absolute pleasure. Won't forget it. Uh, I've been Chris with the Razor's Edge, here for the whole of Arc Tangent. I'm with Kobe the Impaler. Have an amazing night. Thanks for listening. Make sure you keep up to date with future episodes by subscribing to our channels. For more information on this podcast, or for all the latest music news, reviews, interviews and more, head over to our website, www.theraisersedge.rocks.